the American opting to suit up and play football this fall. We mentioned most FCS conferences are holding out hope to play some sort of season in the spring. That could include the Citadel. And out to the 25-yard line is where things will begin. And it's an offensive line with a lot of starts returning this year. And an early first down, first carry for Keith White, setting up a third and one for this veteran line. Right up the middle, ball is loose, and the Bulls force their first turnover of 2020. Johnny on the spot for USF, Mike Hampton. So coming over from Florida Atlantic, loves turnovers, and what do you know, right out the gate. Our three quarterbacks battled for this job this year. We'll likely see all three throughout the season. Uh, Bulls will start out on the ground for Jordan McClellan. Pocket holds up, McLeod will tuck it down, has the first down inside the 40-yard line. Coverages, maybe a blitz, maybe a fire zone. Eubanks was Defensive Player of the Year in the Southern Conference last year. McLeod under pressure, a little security blanket in Ford. Ford able to elude the initial tackler and is inside the 35. And on fourth and five, let's see if they snap the ball, they do. Pocket collapsing, McLeod under pressure, that's a forward pass. It'll be ruled incomplete, but also a turnover on down. Just want to avoid literally putting the ball on the ground like they did on the last drive. And they went seven plays, 36 yards. The ball will come loose, but out of bounds. A nice thing to model themselves after a lot of the other service academies. But as we'll see here, Rainey is certainly capable of airing this ball out. Able to do so. A flag will fly. We'll get the call. But at the moment, pass complete to White out of the backfield. And they'll decline the defensive holding and accept the play. Now brings up third and four. Third and four, as you know. Bulls trying to force perhaps a field goal try. Rainey close to that first down marker, but numbers will add up for the Bulls. It'll be close. And Florida Atlantic all season long was one of the best in the country. So he said, why not take both Charlie Weiss Jr. as well? That's Glenn Spencer. Ball on the turf and just fortunate to fall on it. Early lead against USF from 52. Nailed it. Setting up a long five here on second down. Little play action down the middle. And it's a first down catch. Sure handed by Bryce Moore. It's for this Bulls offense. Jordan McLeod's taking every snap tonight so far. Dumps this one down to one of his new best friends. Brinkman not going down easily. Before giving it back to the Bulldogs. Looking for points here. Currently trailing by the field goal. And getting a little contact before heading out of bounds. Johnny Ford as he welcomes Jay Howard to the ball game. Like that, try to go ahead and get him going in the run game. Down by three. First and goal, looking for the corner, has it, and for the first time in 2020, South Florida is on the board. Touchdown brought in by Trey Dukes. The Bulldogs certainly helps that on his resume was the fact that he majored in peace, war, and diplomacy. As Citadel with their third drive of the night, looking to get the touchdown right back. How about the first play from scrimmage to start this second quarter? Long run from the preseason all-conference standout in the SOCON. Raleigh Webb. Oh, let's see what uh, Glenn Spence is going to dial up. At least Sanders able to polish him off. Rainey through the air, down the middle, able to hit his target a bullseye to Ryan McCarthy. And nothing doing. Limited plays in the Bulldogs playbook there. They entrust once again the freshman Kittner. And Kittner is perfect on his young career. Two for two. That one just sneaks inside. Was hoping for the chance to return this one. Ball through the fingertips under pressure. And this ball is a touchdown. Campbell unable to boot it away. And for USF, a little bit of good fortune on special teams. Bulls with a touchdown on their previous drive. And how about this? Off to the races, Mr. Ford. Johnny Ford will be pushed out of bounds around the 15-yard line.
Looking for someone to possibly pitch it to. Instead, he'll follow his blockers, and Noah Johnson is in. The hometown kid. Well, the first man to get his hands on the ball carrier. There's a good look at Mr. Boyles. Well, the pocket held up, tucking it down, and a first down gain, and then some about 15 yards. You've got to try to get a little bit creative with this offense. Rainey, play action. Great protection, has his man downfield, hauled in, first down, the drive still alive, making the catch, Ryan McCarthy, the junior. It's a fourth and three for Rainey and company, and he's got it. That'll briefly stop the clock here. Kittner, two for his first two as a collegiate kicker. Off the post. Well, they were able to at least try the field goal before halftime. It's the Pirates of East Carolina. Bulls will start on the ground, cutting right through, up the middle, down the sideline. One man to beat for Kelly Joyner. And it'll be a first down and then some into Bulldogs territory. Third and 11. We need the 14-yard line off the back foot to St. Felix, who has to elude the first defender, unable to do so. Get a first down. And this one wide right from Schrader. So third and 18 for the Citadel. Rainey able to drop it down and it's through the hands of White. Scott would go on to be head coach at South Carolina, successful coordinator for Florida State, and most recently a co-worker of his son at Clemson on the staff, part of those national championships. And the Bulls on first down, second quarter. This time he'll hand it off to Batie. And Brian Batie, nice chunk of yardage, a nine-yard gain across midfield. Their own 49 this time. Johnson, straight ahead. Johnson out to the edge. Johnson has a first down back into Bulldog territory and out of bounds at the 31-yard line. McLeod hands it off this time as he's back into the ball game. Ball carrier is Dollison. Last time we saw Dollison with the football, gifted a touchdown on special teams. A return of zero yards for the touchdown back in the first half. And one touchdown through the air tonight. Will he look for a big target? They'll keep it on the ground. Looking for blocking up front, and the signal is a touchdown. Into the end zone, Kelly Joyner. Third and long once again, another passing situation for the Citadel. That's been the best receiver this past decade for the Citadel. As part of that is the ability to play with his former high school teammate, and Brandon Rainey, Australian back to punt. And Schneider just gets this one away. From the 15, that one fumbled and back over the Bulls. They'll have it inside the red zone. Another special teams miscue. Uh, as much as they did. So both turnovers benefiting USF tonight. You know, they have talent on the defense side of the ball. Just was not enough for this South Florida Bulls offense. Guess who? Again, blowing up the play was Blunt. Marsh looking for the end zone. Pass is broken up by Destin Mack. But it can end some of their depth. Personal foul, chop block, offense number 62. The penalty is declined. First down, Citadel. Giving them anything cheap and playing fundamentally sound football on defense. Rainey again has the time, has the arm. And it's picked off by the Bulls, their third turnover of this opener. And what a way to put the punctuation on the first win for Jeff Scott here in 2020.